It's here, just people don't notice it. We see it on a regular basis. Fort Wayne, Indiana shocked me. It can happen to anybody, any race, any religion, any gender. We don't think it's here. We think it's third world underdeveloped countries and that's not, that's not true at all. It's here in Indiana, it's Fort Wayne, Huntington. If you allow yourself to be educated and you open your eyes and understand what trafficking really looks like, then you'll never be able to deny it again. Last year, the Fort Wayne Police Department investigated 15 cases of sex trafficking, 11 victims in those cases, 23 people arrested. In a joint operation with the FBI, the department also helped rescue three more underage girls from sex trafficking. What do those numbers say to you? I think it's surprising and also that it's probably something that's even bigger than what we even realize. We're probably just really the tip of the iceberg. Our numbers on human trafficking are probably well under what they really are because we don't really know. How big a problem is human trafficking in Northeast Indiana? It's one of our largest, fastest growing crimes. The one thing that our investigators are finding is that gangs are now realizing that they can sell a drug once, but they can sell a child three or four times in a day. Not all, but most sex trafficking involves women or girls forced into prostitution or pornography. We have a lot of local pimps that live right here in Fort Wayne. And, you know, we use the word pimp and everybody, they picture, you know, leisure suits and big puffy hats. It's anybody. It's just a businessman is all it is. The FBI has been targeting sex trafficking in Fort Wayne for the last three years, working undercover operations to try to help girls get out and take down the traffickers. I can guarantee there is no hotel in Fort Wayne that we have not been to or had an operation in. It'll happen everywhere and anywhere. At the beginning of last year, over the course of a month, we started working into four different cases of human trafficking. So in the span of three months, we had eight girls that we were dealing with, and they were all underage. It can start many different ways. Girls often groomed over social media. Traffickers make them feel special and wanted, will even buy dinners and presents. And then all of a sudden, hey, you've got to do this for me. And then when she doesn't, he either beats her or has somebody else beat her and then she's so afraid for her life that she doesn't really have an option. And some women, it's very difficult for them to get out of that. You know, they will find ways to manipulate you and brainwash you into thinking that you're the girlfriend, you're more important than the other girls, this is just how it is. Using other girls to say, hey, this is, I've been doing this for X number of years, it's really not that big a deal. One Fort Wayne case involved a teenager who ran away from home. She put on Facebook she needed a ride. Within six hours of getting picked up, she was prostituting. Prostituted with three per people until they met with us when we finally were able to stop it. And we got, we got on it quickly. I mean, it was that next morning we saw it and we acted on it. As fast as we saw those pictures, we thought, she's underage, we need to get her like now. So we were the first date for the morning. So we stopped it quickly. How misunderstood is sex trafficking? I think the perception is most women want to be doing what they're doing. I can tell you I've talked to all of them and none of them wanted to do this, but they got stuck. Post advertising girls can be found all over the internet. One of the more popular sites, Backpage, was recently censored by the government. It's a good message to bring awareness, which is obviously why a lot of things have been upticking is there's a lot more awareness in human trafficking. So it is a nice thing to bring awareness, and maybe in the end, it'll bring up more support. But awareness starts in the community, and everyone acknowledging when something doesn't seem right. People look at it and say, oh, that doesn't seem right, but then they cast it off because they're busy with what their day is, so they don't realize what they just saw. Do they have hotel keys? Do they have an excessive amount of money? Who are they with? Are they hanging with people that appear too old to be their boyfriend or girlfriend, but too young to be a parent. Um, other things like how do they behave around them? Are they really open and honest about what's going on? Are they, are they very guarded in what they talk to you about? If that person is around and you ask them what they did today and they can't tell you without asking for permission, there's a problem there. 